and, and so yeah, I think yeah, you get a little bit of you know like that responsibility about like you know, um, making sure that you're not you know doing more harm than good when you have a whole whole. Uh, I, yeah, I, I, there was a there's a, a, a I guess you know. Kind of talking, you know, kind of talking about people who kind of abuse celebrity. I'm trying to think of if there's anybody in particular in um, in computer games, like uh, uh, you know, the, the kind of the the person I'm thinking of, you know, most recently has been like Gwyneth Paltrow, who basically kind of threw her weight behind uh, like a whole bunch of kind of like you know crazy wacky pseudoscience stuff. Oh yeah, she has uh, her alternative heal it goop. She, she yeah, 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 yeah. You know, where basically, you know, she's she's kind of using her celebrity to, you know, pitch these products of questionable worth. <laughs> oh no, we got Vela triggered. Let it out, Vela. Just let it out into the chat. We'll pick it apart as we go. <laughs> and I, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, it's fine. And so, you know, yeah, I mean, like you know uh kind of like that responsibility of using your uh using celebrity and kind of like making the world a better place not just kind of using it to make a quick buck and the rumor mill in the movie industry is she's, she's not a, yeah i i'm sorry i mean she's not a pleasant person to be around and they'd rather not hire her Right. That's how she's got uninvited to the Iron Man movies after the mm. third one. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's why she's not in the MCU anymore. She, they're just like, uh, you're crazy, go yeah. away. We don't, you know, given a preference, we would prefer not to, to work with you. Thank you very much. Basically, yeah. And, oh my god, if this video gets to Gwyneth Paltrow and gets me popular, thank you. <laughs> right, right. This, this episode brought to you by Goop. <laughs> now 50% less likely to make your testicles fall off. Um. Oh yeah, she has like, I think she, was she the one selling, um... Those eggs? Yes. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure if it was her or someone else. No, it's her. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to think if there's a uh, a pleasant way to bring this up, but <laughs> but yeah, there's eggs where you put, yeah, you know, where women put some place that you know we won't go into a whole lot of detail about for uh for the sake of uh, those with delicate, you know, not, sensitivities. Not even the mature stream tag is strong enough. <laughs> right, right. And the idea is you hold this in your um in your in in your body. Second purse, we'll say. <laughs> you put it in your body. Yeah, there you go. You put it in your body and you uh, use your muscles to clench and hold it. And uh, it uh, builds up muscle strength and also because of the minerals it's made of like has some magical effect or something like that. I don't know. It's made out of jade. Right, right. Oh. But supposedly, like, you know, they, like, you know, there's some kind of, like, jade is connected with, you know, like, wealth and success or something like that, so... It's it's supposed to have kind of, like, a, a pseudo-mystical aspect to it for that, in that case. That's why it's made of jade, not some other material. Right, right. So, yeah. <laughs> How would that make for, a, like, a really uh, punchable, like, video game villain? <laughs> if, if, if you make your vi like um you know how like they make the james bond movies where it'll be like uh uh some like telecommunication mongrel that's you know getting into paramilitary sales or something right 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 like, like just make it like an alternative healing villain that's yeah, trying right to right right <laughs> trying to scam people out of money while giving them you know stuff that you know demonstratively, you know, harms them. Hey, that'd be a great video game villain. Next game you make. Mm, yeah, there you go. Yikes. Yikes. That's not even enough of a word. 
<laughs> anyway, but yeah, like, you know, like, you know, uh, again, they kind of like it goes to the idea that you know, you know, ha having some higher purpose for you know your you know your celebrity besides just trying to make a buck, you know, prevent you from being an awful person. I don't know why I typed that. I could have just said it, but I was trying not to cut you off. <laughs> oh, oh. But yeah, Excuse me. Uh, uh, any mineral with uh, enough exposure and time can become toxic. Right, right. Even the ones that we need in our body, like iron. Right. But yeah, and so yeah, you know, I'm 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 trying to think if there's anybody that sure, could. I mean, I you know, in some ways you could say some of the Kickstarter games are a little bit like that. People essentially using their celebrity to uh, to you know pitch games. You know that you know they just you know people just want to keep on working on forever instead of actually delivering. Oh, uh, are are we talking about the game that Sorry. we should not? Talk about. Star Citizen. Yeah. <laughs> or like Mighty Number no. Nine was like that, where it was you know right, right. a big wig from Mega Man. Oh, it's the next Mega Man, you know, spiritual right, successor. Right. right. Um. Yeah, I can't think of any game dev devs like ex abusing like a uh, celebrity, but. Like I said, I mean, I, you could, you could kind of, you could kind of accuse some of the, uh, um, the Kickstarter campaign people of the, that, you know, people who kind of like, you know, went into Kickstarter without, you know, you know, very obviously without a plan on how to actually deliver on the thing that they were talking about and, and promising to the masses.